Hi, I'm Colin Sherman reporting in for First Day Base Now here at the Greater Kansas City Regional. I'm here with Team 5801 CTC Inspire and they're going to tell us more about the robot. Hey fun fans, before we get to this video, I want to give a big shout out to all of you who have been spreading the word of fun to help us stay Lob Light Independent through your donations, bits, and subscriptions, and also to the sponsors of this segment, PTC. PTC currently has the Robots to the Rescue Challenge going on where you can earn a share of $7,000 for your team by designing a robot that helps solve a current world problem at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. I'm Elliot. This is, this year was a really unique challenge. Um, the game required us, in our minds, that we needed to have a vision element of our robot. And that, pres uh, that presented a big challenge for us um, in terms of programming, because we've never worked with vision before. Um, but this year, we worked with a team of three people to figure out how to use this vision and utilize it and tune it and um, optimize it to make it the best we could. All right, so our robot with our intake, we've really been trying to work out the problems with the balls getting stuck. So we finally managed, so our intake will pick it up and then we have these nice yellow orange rollers here. They're really grabby so the balls won't slide on them. And that's what actually brings it up into our shooter. And that's where we have our vision targeting. So it's actually really cool in the fact that the camera he was talking about earlier with the vision can sense the distance away that we are from the target. So it uses that distance to tell us how fast to spin the wheel so that we're shooting at the right speed to actually be able to make it into the goal from anywhere on the field. Our robot can also climb. So we have these hooks here that there's one on each side. They come up and go and hook around the bar. And then there's strings running from the hooks that go down to our robot. And we just wind that string up to go ahead and climb right up the bar. And we've had really good success with that so far. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit more about how the, the turret mechanism works on your robot? All right, so the turret you can see here, it also actually runs off of that same limelight. So the limelight tells us exactly where the vision target is up around the high goal of the shooter. So then our motor automatically turns so that this whole turret can spin. And that will aim us exactly towards the target from anywhere on the field so that we can just shoot and go in without having to have a lot of manual drivers going up and trying to line up perfectly. Awesome. Thanks, thanks for showing us your robot, um, and that'll be it. This video is brought to you in part by PTC. Look, during this time, it's important to look for challenges to keep your skills up and to help your team in fun development. The Robots to the Rescue Challenge can help you accomplish both by designing a robot that solves a real-world problem with a chance to win a share of over $7,000 for your team. Click the link in the description to get started at onshape.com forward slash robots to the rescue. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and Tier 2 Plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.